how to create carousels with bulk create in Canva. You'll be able to create carousels that are hundreds of slides with just the click of a few buttons. When I speak of carousels, they are the posts that you see where you slide to the left, kind of like hinder PowerPoint. <laughs> the first step in this process is understanding what you are going to create. I know that a lot of my audience, they have read the book, Think and Grow Rich. So I'm going to create a carousel that has this, the laws within the book, Think and Grow Rich. Create a list of the laws in Think and Grow Rich. Create a description of each law. All right, so here are the 13 laws. Organize this into a table. I was going to organize it into a table in the format that you could see here. So there are multiple ways to now turn this into a CSV file. I have a Mac. I, you could do this in numbers, but for this specific example, I'm just going to show you how to take this. So you're going to copy this. You'll go to a Google Sheets document and in your Google Sheets, you want to start at two. So you're going to paste and then here put headline and info. These titles don't really matter. We just need them for Canva. Now that they're titled, we're going to export this from Google Sheets into a CSV file because that's what Canva accepts. File, download, CSV. Now we're going to head over to Canva. When you go to Canva, you're just going to go to canva.com. What you're going to do up here is you're going to click create a design. Once you click create a design, you're going to click Instagram post square. This is important. Don't go rogue on this process. I train a lot of uh, business owners and they don't listen to this part. And then they're like, it's not working. Don't go rogue. <laughs> click the Instagram post square. It's going to just look like this. You're going to search carousel. You'll see different ones. What you're going to look for is a template. Not like this one, because if you look at this one, it only has one thing on the template. You're going to want to look for something more like this one because it has the header and then the description. You're not going to click the front one. You're going to click this one. When you click it, this is very important to pay attention because you're going to design this specific slide the way that you want all your slides to look like. If you don't, then you're going to circumvent the whole purpose of this process, which is optimization, time efficiency, and you're going to have to redesign all the slides. Just listen to the process. For me, I'm going to keep it simple. Maybe make this black and I'll make the background white. And I have this at the bottom. I don't need that and I don't need that. At the bottom, I could say www.gotoyougrow.club. By the way, you can go to ugrow.club if you want to learn how to get leads on LinkedIn. I'm going to put black. What I'm going to do is to go to the side here and you'll see certain apps. Now you may have to click apps. You'll see apps here. And then you may have to search for bulk crate or you could look at trending or down here. We're looking for this green one right here. It looks like this. Usually it's right here, more from Canva. It's one of the top ones because it's one of the most popular ones. Once you do use it, it will always stay on the left side of the screen. I'm going to click bulk create. Once you click bulk create, you're going to click upload CSV file and you're going to upload the CSV file that we exported. Once you click the correct file, you should see headline and info. You're going to click the headline that you want to align to. And you're going to click connect data headline. Then what you're going to do is you're going to click this and you're going to click connect data info. So these are connected now. And then at the bottom, again, we have ugrow.club. Once you connect all of the data, you're going to click continue. You're going to see that it's going to generate the 13 pages for the 13 rules that we created. And we're going to click generate. As you can see, it generated all 13 without a lot of effort. Now, is it perfect? Absolutely not, because you may have to realign some of the longer titles. But the point is, is that it's a lot more efficient and it will save you a lot of time. Now, before we export this into your carousel, there's one thing to note. You're going to go back to your design and you're going to now click the first slide because it needs a title slide. You're going to click move up 
because it will automatically become page two. Then you're going to go to the bottom and you're going to click the final slide. For your call to action, click add as new page. So even though you have 13 of the laws that we created in this example, there's going to be 15 slides. Here is where you would put the title and your name, your photo at the bottom, your call to action. For me, that's ugrow.club. Go check it out if you want to join the LinkedIn Leads Challenge. Now, let's export this so that you can have your carousel. To export this and to be able to post it as a carousel on LinkedIn, it will have to be exported as a PDF. Click Share up here. Click Download. Now, if you wanted to post to Instagram and other places, you would do PNG and then you would get 15 individual images. But instead, we're going to do PDF Standard and then I'm going to click download. Obviously, this is not polished and I would not post this because I haven't edited, I haven't put in my own words. Once you have this, you're going to go to linkedin.com. You're going to click start a post. You're going to click the three dots. You're going to click add a document. 13 laws of think and grow rich. The preview will show itself here. You're going to click done. You'll be able to see what it would look like. And then obviously I'm not going to click post because this is not finalized for posting or you could schedule for later and put in the date and the time that you prefer and then click next and schedule. If you found this valuable, I would appreciate it if you share it with a friend. More people need to know about these practical solutions, especially as they not only grow their business, but also incorporate content creation and not just content creation, but consistent content creation long term. This is at least a 10 year mindset when you're building brand and it's not easy to do both at the same time. Share it with someone and help them out. God bless you. Ciao.